Welcome to Conversations, dear friends. Today, I want to talk to you about something very tragic, as you all are aware. Turkey, Syria, and some of the Middle Eastern countries uh, like um, Jordan and uh, Lebanon have been impacted by an earthquake. The loss of life has been horrible. Nearly 3,800 people have died from this earthquake. Nearly 2,500 of them have died uh, in the Gaziantep province of Turkey and over 1,200 or nearly 1,500 people have died uh, in near Aleppo in Syria. Uh, it is believed that thousands, thousands of homes have been destroyed. It appears as if many parts of several cities have been flattened. The devastation is awful, as you can see from some of these drone images, that the tragedy is still unfolding. It is quite possible that the death toll might rise up even more. It is quite possible it might go over 5,000. It is, it is really heart-wrenching to think of people who've lost their family, those who have survived the sufferings, those who have been maimed, people whose uh, homes have been destroyed, whose businesses have been destroyed. This is going to have a devastating impact on the communities there. And uh, I'm talking to you essentially to make an appeal uh, so that you may be able to do what little you can or whatever you can. If you are in the region and you can travel to Turkey, the, uh, the Turkish government has made appeals that they need a lot of rescue workers. If you have some basic training of being a first responder, I would recommend that you try and find your way uh, towards Turkey. There have been many after uh, shock uh, Equates about 60, and there might be another one. Uh, we are not very sure. So, so they need help doctors, nurses, first responders, relief workers, people who can just help clean the debris. And for those of us who may not be able to go there for reasons of work or health, etc., uh, I have a list here compiled by my wife and some of my students from my class on Islam and global affairs. They have put together a list of places where you can provide both financial and material support for the victims of the earthquakes. Uh, you can send it to AmeriCares, Care International, Direct Relief, Doctors Without Borders, Global Giving, Humanitarian Relief, Foundation, Humanity and Inclusion, UNICEF, White Helmets, World Vision, IFRS, Syrian Medical Society, Syrian American Medical Society. So we have put together a list and all of these organizations are trying their best to raise money as well as uh, medicines and blankets. Uh, so if you can provide anything, please go ahead. I'm going to post this list uh, in the description of the video below so they can just click uh, the, the charity of your choice, the relief organization of your choice, and please, please make a contribution. This is a test it's a test of our humanity. What can we do to help people, fellow human beings, in their hour of need? So I appeal to all of you, do whatever you can. If you can go there and help them, that is best. If you cannot, provide them with whatever you can spare. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this message uh, with your friends and your network. This is Muhtadar Khan, host of Conversations. Thank you for watching.